So I have a short little tip for you. I was thinking about how I update state and react, and I was realizing I was probably doing it in a way that may be unfamiliar to some of you guys. So I'm gonna show you two different ways you can update state in React and why there is two different ways. So first off, let me explain what the heck I'm talking about. So in my little example here, I have a counter and I'm using the use state hook. So we have the value zero and we can have the count of zero and then we can update the count by calling set count. And so this is how you would probably make it something like this. Uh, we can see the count, you just hit the plus and it increments. Now an interesting thing happens uh, when we introduce two set counts here. So you'll notice when I click on the plus now, it's going to call set count, and we say count plus one, and we call set count, and we update the count by one. So this is what I'm calling updating the state. Um, in this case, we are updating the count state. Uh, so guess what's going to happen next? Do you think this will increment by two or increment by one when we hit the plus? Because the real answer is it's only going to increment by one. All right, so this may be unusual to you, uh, but what's happening is set count is an asynchronous function, which means it doesn't fire right away. And this becomes immediately obvious if we add some console log statements. So if we say before, and then we display the value of count, and we print after, we're gonna notice the value of count doesn't change in between these. Um, so let's save this and run and see this. So you'll notice it's zero before, zero after. So what that means is when we call set count right here, the count value is not immediately incremented. Um, it waits. Uh, so when we call set count and set count again, we're basically saying set count the value to one and then set the count to one again with the same value. Um, so we don't want this to happen, right? What we really want to happen is uh, it not to overwrite each other and for it to increment twice. How can we get this effect? So this is where React allows you to get around this by using the second way you can call set count or call set state. So we can pass in a function instead of just the value itself. And what the function does is it takes the current state as the parameter. So I'm gonna say, not new, but current count. And it is a function that returns the new value. So in this case, we're going to say current count plus one. Um, so if I do that, and we were to do that twice, it's going to basically queue up both of these requests. And let's see if I can move this over. There we go. It's going to queue up both of these requests um, to update the count. And it's going to run them one after the other and then they are both going to update and basically it's just gonna call the function itself. So now when we increment, it's going to increment by two correctly. Now, because of the way this works, usually when I'm using uh, updating the state, I will just write it like this. I'll use the updater function method to update the count just so, or whatever state I'm dealing with. Um, in this case, it just makes it a little bit easier in case I introduce a situation like this um, where we are calling it twice in the same function and they would be asynchronously called and they would overwrite each other or something like that to prevent that I just tend to use the function to update the count or the state every time so this works the same also when you're using state um, I'm using the hook right now but if you're just using the state and class components it works the same way you can pass in a function that takes the current state and returns a new state so I would recommend using this as probably your default um, instead of just using like count plus one here. Now it is kind of convenient just to say count plus one. And if I know there's gonna be no conditions around it or uh, possible conditions where I'm overriding stuff or at least calling them back to back, I will just write it like this. Uh, but whenever I think I may possibly do in the future, I will just use that update function.